But I think the ECB is right in pushing the fiscal authorities to rethink, uh, to think about it. It really needs one fiscal partner, not 19, which makes it nearly impossible. It has to be very clear about the fact that uh, if we return to anything like the EU fiscal rules, which were suspended a while back, but should be put back uh, into play at the end of 2021, uh, that's going to be a big issue. And the way to say it is if the fiscal authorities don't do enough, then the ECB has to do more. And doing more at some stage uh, will raise credibility risks. It will be forced to do things which are probably not in the interest of the ECB or the interest of the fiscal authorities. It's hard to overemphasize the degree to which the EU system is based on a definition of the roles of fiscal and monetary policy, which is um, in need for a redefinition. There was a, the idea that there needed to be a Chinese wall between fiscal and monetary policy, that the great danger was a, sort of a contagion between the two um, um, pillars of macro policy. We speaking nowadays much more of a complementarity between uh, fiscal and monetary policy. Um, and, uh, and obviously uh, all that was written at a time when the, uh, the debt was, was low and interest rates were, were high and now we're in the opposite uh, type of situation. There are changes in the type of environment we're in that call for a redefinition of uh, of a framework. We live in a world where uh, basically every country in the world, every main economy is now thinking about some sort of a strategic competition or a strategic independence where resilience, which essentially means first take care of your domestic economy and then think about international relations is now in the forefront and therefore developing the international role of the Euro, which I will insist, it cannot be done without a safe asset. You cannot have the international role of the euro without an asset that the rest of the world want to buy in that currency cannot happen. And therefore, the European Commission, in pushing for the development of the safe asset, can contribute to this. Just to summarize it, if the euro area wants to be a powerful geopolitical player, it needs to invest in the euro. Otherwise, it's really not going to work. So on the, on the stabilization tool, I think that uh, there are three arguments of why we should have a, a stabilization tool at the federal level. At the zero lower bound, it's very difficult for monetary policy to deliver on the inflation objective. Uh, there is also some evidence that the monetary policy has some limits uh, when uh, shocks are asymmetrics, and this is the case, for example, today with COVID. And the third argument uh, is actually uh, the public debt sustainability. So, you know, in the euro area, this is always threatened by the fact that, uh, um, you know, we don't have actually mutual debt issuance, we don't have a safe asset. So there are problems on how actually the ECB can uh, without uh, you know some uh, without the a safe asset or, or the fiscal uh, monetary policy coordination uh, or guarantee these uh, uh, very supportive uh, financial conditions without creating uh, some tensions in the system